Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Noelle. Thank you for being here today. Welcome back if you've been here before. Welcome and if you haven't. Today we're going to be doing a very fun and exciting video. I've never filmed anything like this yet. I'm going to be showing you guys all of my favorite jeans, my favorite go-to brands that I shop from frequently. I'm also a very tall girl, so I will be including some brands that do offer selections for taller girls and stuff like that. I've always struggled with finding good jeans because I have a very tapered body, so I have a smaller waist and smaller upper body and then I have like curvier hips and very long legs. It's never been easy for me to find good jeans and I've always looked on YouTube to find other girls explaining good jeans and good brands and I never really found anything that I was looking for so I hope to be that video for someone else that's struggling and maybe is a taller girl. I'm just going to be sharing my personal favorite jeans. There are so many other amazing brands out there. These are just my personal favorites, but of course, do your research, do your shopping. If you find other brands that work for you, that's amazing. But I'm just gonna be showing you jeans that have been great in my experience, especially in regards to quality, length, how flattering they are, things like that. So really quick before we get started, I wanted to give a shout out to Black Bow Swim. They were so kind and sent me a package. They sent the cutest swimsuits. They were so kind and gifted me these. So thank you to Black Bow. This isn't sponsored, they're not paying me to say this, but since I'm fortunate enough to get brands to send me things all the time, I do wanna throw in a shout out where I can. So thank you to Black Bow, I really appreciate it. For this video, I've divided all my denim into each brand and then I've divided it into each style. So I'm gonna kinda of do it by brand and explain why I like the certain brand, why I like the style of jean, and then I'll also be doing a try on of each pair so you can see what it looks like. And I'm just going to explain everything about the pairs that I like. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Now let's get into it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start off classic with Levi's. I feel like every girl needs to experience the luxury of Levi's jeans. They're amazing. Obviously, they've been around for years and they're an amazing brand. Anyone that buys Levi's jeans or knows about them would know that each pair fits differently and no two pairs are made the same, which I think is so unique and cool. I will say that finding a pair of Levi's that fit lengthwise and waist, hip wise has been difficult. So I've definitely made an effort to shop around. Something I will say with Levi's is I really recommend to buy them secondhand. They're a fraction of the price. You can find the coolest styles and fits. And it's honestly just so much better to have a unique pair that nobody else has. They're vintage. Obviously, again, fraction of the price. So I would say definitely buy your Levi's second hand. If you buy them first hand, they're pretty expensive and they can be upwards of $100 depending on the style. So I'm not much of a skinny jeans girl. For me, something I prioritize every day in my wardrobe is comfort. And for me, skinny jeans are just not comfortable anymore. Thankfully, every girl is on that page now and We've all kind of agreed to keep skinny jeans in the past, which is amazing. But with work and for castings and whatnot, I do still have to wear skinny jeans at certain times. This first pair is a darker wash. You guys will see in the try-on. They also have some distressing on the knee and upper thigh right here. And they're super long, which I like. Again, very tall girl. Long jeans are very important. I'm also gonna show you a close-up of the style so you can see. This is the first pair, such a nice flattering look. Classic skinny jeans, high-waisted, which is nice. This is like my only pair of skinny jeans, I think, but I love them. This next pair is a mid-rise skinny jean. These are not super classic skinny jeans because they are a little bit flared at the bottom. This is what they look like. They are not distressed. This is the butt. You guys, these are the most flattering jeans in the entire universe, but... It wants to go. I always get so many compliments when I wear these. They're so flattering. I've taken so many pictures in these. So flattering, so cute on the butt. And this is what they look like. They are a little bit tapered at the bottom, so they're not super tight to your ankles. They're more flared out. So it's super flattering, 
such a cute jean. They're tighter than your average mom jean, but they're not so constricting like skinny jeans. You guys will see in the try on what I mean by that. I just wanted to show those pairs of skinny jeans because I know that some people prefer a more classic option like skinny jeans. But now I'm gonna get into my more relaxed styles of jeans from Levi's. These are the styles that I normally reach for in my personal life when I'm just wearing my own clothes for a day out, hanging out with friends, all that, so I'm gonna show you. I also really apologize if the lighting and positioning is changing. The sun is setting right now and I'm also like standing and then sitting and I apologize. So this first pair of relaxed denim is called the Low Pro Straight. I love these jeans so much. They are a light wash. This is how they look. They are distressed at the knee. These ones are more wide legs, so you're getting more of that relaxed, like boho, beachy look. And this is what the back looks like. Again, super cute on the butt, super long. They fit me lengthwise, which is nice. I know low rise is coming back. I've never really been a low rise girl, but I definitely can wear them. And I like how low rise looks, but I've never been super impressed by a certain pair but i like this version of low rise jeans because they're not super tight and they're very like relaxed and you know comfortable but they're still low rise so you still get that same vibe and yeah i love these jeans so cute obsessed This next pair is the exact same style. They are the Low Pro Straight. These are actually brand new. I haven't worn them yet. These guys are a darker wash. So this is what the butt looks like. I actually just bought these. The tags are literally still on them. Same exact fit and style as the first pair I showed you of Levi's, the ones that I just showed you. I actually really prefer dark wash because I feel like it matches more, but again, the light wash can't go wrong. For me, these are more of like an everyday jean because they are such a nice wash and I feel like they match with anything. So you guys will see in the try on that this pair and the other pair of Low Pro kind of fit the same, but they're a little bit different, obviously in the wash and the distressing and all that. But yeah, such a cute pair. Would definitely recommend the Low Pro straight. I really like how they fit. So those are all of my Levi's. Now we're gonna move on to another brand that I love for jeans, which is Pretty Little Thing. I'm just gonna talk a little bit about Pretty Little Thing because I'm obsessed with their jeans. I've been wearing them for such a long time and they make the best jeans for tall girls. So I'm on their website. This is the tall section on their website right here. So I just tapped the jeans section and I mean, seriously, they have so many styles. These are the jeans that I'm referring to when I try them on. This pair is my favorite pair of jeans, I think maybe more than the Levi's. I wear these jeans way too often, they never get a break. These are the Pretty Little Thing tall jeans. They have the really long leg. I actually cut these because they were too long, which is also another good thing about Pretty Little Thing is that they make their jeans extra long so you have room to cut them or get them hemmed or tailored. I tend to like my jeans the more that I wash them. In the front you can kind of see how they're fading a little bit, but I, I love that. Again, no rips, just a classic jean. I am the worst about staining pants. I stain all of my pants. It's either lip gloss on a night out, sauce, soup, food, always spilling. Anyone that's in my close circle or in my life, especially my boyfriend, knows that I spill constantly. I literally spill things on my boyfriend. But you can see here that I did stain them with lipstick and it's depressing, but we're not gonna talk about it further. The next style I have from Pretty Little Thing is this pair. These are distressed. These guys are a little bit too distressed for me now. I wouldn't wear these unless it was like Coachella or like some type of festival because it's just not my vibe anymore. I still like having the option and another thing is that if you're a model, having clothing options and denim options is so nice because you're constantly shooting and test shoots, they always ask you to bring a variety of clothing. So 
I can bring jeans that are classic and vintage looking or I can bring jeans that I have rips and holes and they give more like rugged look so having options is great these two pairs are very similar the only difference is the wash slightly and and then obviously the distressed legs but still super cute i know these aren't technically denim but i did still want to show you guys another pair of the pretty little thing pants they look like this very distressed because again wore them like 30 million times they're also frayed at the bottom so it gives that more distressed cut off look which is fun sometimes The next brand I have for jeans is PacSun. Seems very basic. Normally when I'm shopping with a friend at a store like PacSun, I don't expect them to have jeans that fit my length, but I just try them on for fun. PacSun ended up fitting my length perfectly, so I'm gonna show you my two favorite styles from them. So this is gonna be the last brand that I show, but I still wanted to include them because they have some really cute styles and fits. I actually only have two pairs from PacSun so far. I have yet to do some more shopping and get back in there. So these are more, I would say, kind of bell-bottom. They are high-waisted and they have very flared out legs at the bottom. This is what they look like. This is the first pair. They are button fly. Personally, I prefer a zipper. I think button fly are a little bit annoying, but it's okay. <laughs> I keep saying that I don't like distressed jeans, but all of these seem to be distressed. This is what they look like. They're a little bit wrinkled because they were at the bottom of my denim tower. Yeah, you can see they're a little bit flared at the bottoms. This is a darker wash, clearly. That's what they look like. Super cute. Now this pair. I love this pair so much. Same type of deal. Very flared out ankles. You can't really tell in the video, but you'll see in my try-on. I just really love light wash and I like that you can kind of do different things with light wash because it's more airy and more light so you can do like cute summer outfits cute like white tops and stuff like that so love a good light wash moment and these two styles of jeans are called the high-rise boot cut So those are all of my favorite jeans right now. I had so much fun making this video and trying all of these pairs of jeans on for you guys. If you guys want me to film something similar with shoes or anything like that, definitely let me know. I've been getting so many video requests and trust me, I'm on it. I'm gonna film so much for you guys soon, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And as always, my social media is gonna be in the description. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys next Wednesday.